Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your September 2016 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising Signs. So Leo, for this reading I am using my Morgan Greer tarot deck along with the Mystical Wisdom Oracle card deck. I'm also doing a Celtic cross spread. I always use a Celtic cross spread for all of my monthly tarot forecast. All right, upcoming future messages for Leo in the month of September 2016. What does Leo need to know? So Leo, if you're interested in receiving additional guidance aside from the weekly and month monthly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, I do actually draw and upload every single day a daily oracle guidance card to my Facebook and Instagram pages. So if you're interested in receiving additional guidance, definitely head over to Facebook or Instagram and follow me there. I hope you all had a wonderful birthday month. Last month, Leo. All right, upcoming future messages for Leo. September 2016. All right, Leo, so your overall energy for the month is the Knight of Swords. All right, so the Knight of Swords, this could be you, Leo, wanting to charge forward, full steam ahead, wanting something to happen quickly. I'm just looking at the other energies around it. Okay. You have some very powerful uh, energies here this month. Definitely many of you going through some very positive changes. Um, and you, you might want it to happen. You might want these changes to happen, um, you know, fairly quickly. Um, you know, there's. I definitely see many of you wanting to charge forward. Um, right at the center, we have death crossed by the moon so very very powerful energy that's with you either right now I am filming this at the end of July or in the beginning of September now death does represent the sign of Scorpio so there could be a Scorpio that's quite significant um, for you Leo but death represents great change transformation so I see many of you going through, um, yeah, some pretty big changes right at the start of, of September, but this is very positive. So if you're a Leo who has been waiting on something for quite some time, uh, you know, when we see the energy of death come in, it's because something is now becoming final. So this is, this is very positive. Um, the energy of death is very much needed. Something ending within your life so something else can begin. Uh, with death, there is always a new beginning. So I see many of you going through great, great transformation. And then we have this energy of the moon as well. So for some of you, this great change, it might be a little bit confusing because, you know, that could be the challenge for you. Um, there could be things going on behind the scenes. The energy of the moon is that very confusing, foggy sort of energy. So there could be a lot happening behind the scenes or there could be some uncertainty or, or, or you just feeling a little nervous, feeling a little anxious with these changes that, that you're going through, Leo. Um, for, for some other Leos, this is your intuition, just being incredibly strong, maybe having some very vivid dreams, receiving messages from spirit, um, a, a more of an emotional energy. This could be an emotional energy. Some of you just being highly sensitive. Um, but also the moon represents the unknown. It can represent secrets. Um, and there could be, there could be again, uh, a Scorpio person, um, for some of you that, uh, maybe they're being a little secretive, um,
oftentimes when we are waiting for something, uh, the energy of the moon comes in. It represents the unknown. So oftentimes when things are uncertain, things are up in the air, this sort of energy can come in. So I feel like many of you are going through this great change, but not all is known just yet. Um, at the foundation, we have the Two of Cups. So um, for some Leos, you might be in a relationship with a Scorpio or, you know, your relationship could be going through some, some big changes. Now, for some of you, you could have ended a relationship, absolutely, with the energy of death. Um, and if it's not a Scorpio, it could be with another water sign person. You might have ended a relationship. And then for other Leos, um, your relationship is going through a great transformation. So we'll never be the same. It, could, it, it very well could be changing for the positive. Um, this is you and another person. Now, for some of you, this will be romantic. And then for others, this could be a business partner. This could be a family relationship. You working with another person, or there's another person that's quite significant within your life, Leo. But there could be some uncertainty with this, or at least feel that way. The moon brings in a lot of fear-based energies, so worrying unnecessarily, having anxiety. Some of you, you know, maybe you just are dealing with some anxiety surrounding a partnership. Now, in the more recent past, I have the Six of Cups. So this is the energy that you might have felt um, right toward, you know, right at the end of August, towards the end of August. The Six of Cups is nostalgia. For some of you, you could have been reminiscing about the past, reminiscing about a, a, maybe a partner that you could have, um, you know, left or, 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 you know, a relationship that ended. You could have been thinking about it a lot. Um, but also, you know, what's really sticking out to me is, you know, we have the Six of Cups here and I have the Two of, of Cups at the foundation. And these two people are looking at each other. These two people are looking at each other. I'm feeling like for many of you, I'm talking about a, a romantic relationship. There's a lot of emotional energy here, Leo, right at the start for you. Um, in the, at the start of September, there's a lot of heavy emotional energy here. But this is this is good. I'm not feeling like this is negative whatsoever. Um, you could have reconnected with someone from your past. Some Leos, you might have reconnected with someone from your past. Or you might have met someone. And with the Six of Cups, it would be that very pure, innocent kind of um, relationship where you guys can just literally be free um, like children and just enjoy enjoy, enjoy each other's company. Um, and really just have, you know, a, a good time with this person, a good time together. So you might have met someone and it's got that very, you know, innocent kind of energy, that childlike energy. Um, it's beautiful, honestly, Leo. Uh, now what's crowning you is the Six of Pentacles. So you're thinking about receiving something or being very generous. This is either giving or receiving. And now some of you might be waiting on receiving a decision or waiting on receiving something, receiving some sort of information. For other Leos, maybe you're thinking about uh, being quite generous. The Six of Cups here can represent children. Um, so for some of you, this could be, you know, you thinking about um, being quite generous with your children, no matter how old they are. Um, you might be an older Leo and you could be thinking about your children. And then for other Leos, thinking about receiving something, um, but with this energy of the moon, uh, dealing with some confusion surrounding that, it's, it's going to be something that you receive that... Um, you know, is, is, is helping with bringing about this great change. Now, coming up in the near future, and this can be around the second week, we have the Lover's card. So the Lover's card can represent a head or a heart decision or choice that is needed. You might be making a decision, Leo, around the second week, or for some of you, this is what you're waiting on receiving and with that knight of swords as well this could be things happening quickly the knight of swords is a hasty energy he can also represent um sort of a chaotic energy confusion as well so there could be a lot of confusion maybe surrounding a relationship maybe you're waiting on this person to make a decision or make a choice um 
or Leo, this could be you making a decision. Now, for those of you that this is not related to romance, um, this could be business partnership. This could be a decision in regards to a home. Because with death, remember, it's endings and new beginnings. It's transformation. So this could be within your career. This could be with, with a residence. And there could be a very significant decision coming in around the second week. Now, in the position of your power, Leo, we have the Ten of Cups. And this is emotional abundance. This is happiness. This is your, your happiness and your family's happiness. Those around you uh, being very happy. This is beautiful. A lot of emotional energy here. But like I mentioned, it's, it's very positive. So um, being in a really good place. Really feeling um, loved and, and feeling quite content around the second, third week of the month. And honestly, throughout the whole month. Um, because. Um, you just have some amazing energies in your recent past and you have some amazing energies coming up, Leo. And the position of how those around you are seeing you, we have the Four of Pentacles. So people around you are seeing you maybe being a little conservative financially, saving your money more than you're spending it. But also uh, the Four of Pentacles talks of, of security and building on that security that you already have. So some Leos, you're just simply saving your money. Um, you're saving your money. Maybe you're saving for a rainy day. For some of you, you're saving for a house. You're saving for you know, a new beginning. Um, this great uh, change, this great um, transformation, this new beginning that you want to come in, that you're manifesting here, Leo. Um, the Four of Pentacles can also talk about hanging on tightly to something. So for some of you, maybe you're hanging on to a partnership, hanging on to a relationship, hanging on to the idea of something or someone, sometimes, that you want. Um, for some of you, this, this is something connected to family. Maybe you want to start a family. And this could be you hanging on to the, the idea of, you know, that... Um, you know, that dream of yours coming about. Uh, in the hopes and fears, you're fearing any more stress, worry, anxiety. Yeah, and it's not happening. It's in the fears position. Fearing having to deal with any more just stress, worries, um, staying up at night, not being able to sleep. This is just what you're fearing now. And in the final outcome position, Leo, this is what you're leaving the month with going into the month of October with this energy. We have the three of cups. So as you can see, there's a lot of cups in this spread. It's going to be more of an emotional month for you, Leo. But again, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, this is quite beautiful. I see many of you being very, very social, very social at the end of the month. Maybe you're getting out more. Maybe you and your spouse are getting out more. Um, the, the Three of Cups is a nice, lighter energy. This is you just being incredibly happy, enjoying yourself, being quite social. But also this can be, for many Leos, you feeling accomplished, feeling quite successful, wanting to celebrate something. So for many of you, whatever it is that you've been waiting on receiving, whatever it is that you're receiving, for some of you, it's a decision. Now, you know, at the end of the month here, you want to you wanna celebrate it. You want to tell people. You want to share this, you know, this success um, or this happiness with those around you, with those closest to you, friends, family. So, you know, this is amazing. Um, and what I am sensing is for some of you, we have this two of cups here. Now we have this three of cups. Um, some Leos, you definitely have a relationship that is, I feel it's, it's flourishing. Um, if you're if you've been in a relationship for many years, you're reigniting that passion. Absolutely, um, you know I feel like it, it, it can actually be quite a passionate month for you, but also connecting uh, on an emotional level as well. And then for those of you that maybe just reconnected with a past lover or just met someone, because the Six of Cups for me as well as the two of cups here this is this is a soulmate connection a soulmate relationship for some of you um you might have just met someone 
getting to know them uh, on a deeper level. And then around the second week here, I see a lot of passion. So on the romance front, Leo, this is wonderful. Things are going very well. And that could be why it's more of an emotional month because I feel like many Leos, you might be falling in love, especially if you're a Leo that just met someone. This could be you falling in love. And maybe that person is a water sign person. That's really what I'm getting. Um, they could be a Scorpio, they could be a Pisces, maybe a Cancer. I feel a lot of water energy here. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. And I think some some Leos with the Knight of Swords energy, you want, you know, you just maybe met someone and you want this relationship to move forward. You're ready. You're like, let's go. You're ready to just charge forward, full steam ahead. Maybe, you know, you just feel extremely connected with this person. Again, uh, for some of you, it will be a soulmate relationship. Okay, so additional guidance for Leo. What else does Leo need to know? Please show me. There we go. Owl. Wow. Follow your intuition, Leo. Beautiful card here. Owl. So in the month of September, Leo, you need to follow your intuition. Your intuition is going to be speaking to you. And that's why for many of you, we have this energy of the moon. Pay attention to your dreams. You're going to be highly, highly intuitive in the month of September. So really listen to your intuition. Okay? So Leo, I do hope that you found this reading helpful. And I hope you have a wonderful month of September. Take care.